How to Correctly Understand the Metaverse and Web3 Precisely defining the relationship between the metaverse and Web3 depends on the understanding of Web3. If you think that Web3 is just an iterative product of Web2, then the metaverse is more than that. It is a collection of multiple concepts. If you think that Web3 is the next generation of Web, then the metaverse will be a subset of Web3, and it will eventually be implemented in Web3 as well. The concept of the metaverse was mentioned as early as Neil Stevenson's 1992 novel, Avalanche. Later, the Roblox game platform, known as the first stock of the metaverse, was really brought into the fire and pushed it to the top. Why do you call it a platform? Because its essence is not as simple as a game. Its core gameplay is to allow players to perform various activities at will in a virtual world. A more precise definition should be a centralized content creation platform which not only provides players with games, but also provides a developer editor for creating games, allowing players to create their own games to upload and share with the platform. If you think about it, this is very similar to the current platforms such as YouTube, Instagram, and Medium, except that one is in the game and the other is in the video, photo, text, etc. All belong to the content creation platform and the vertical fields are different. Later, Facebook changed its name to Meta, which pushed the concept of the metaverse to the top of history. But even so, it is still not the real metaverse. Because once the service is stopped, the so-called metaverse will disappear. If a user's account is blocked, he will be digitally killed. If we reduce the concept of metaverse to the projection of the real world, then it should at least give each digital citizen an identity that can be freely controlled and the resulting economic model for the establishment and realization of data property rights and cross-platform interoperability protocols, etc. It should not be a cyberpunk dominated by big capital, but a digital world where virtual and reality coexist and create wealth together. First of all, it must be a decentralized digital identity system owned and absolutely controlled by the user which can be responsible for managing all the smart terminal devices, application services, and digital assets of the user. Whether you are wearing a VR device to socialize or take risks in the metaverse, the data generated is stored in your own personal data safe, OOD. Your physical body is not only a perfect digital copy, but also an identity, security of privacy assets. Secondly, in the metaverse, it must be a standard format of unified data so that data can be communicated, platform barriers are broken, equipment produced by different manufacturers, and applications developed on different platforms can be used in all scenarios, so that users can be in the metaverse to achieve unimpeded flow in the true sense. It is worth mentioning that every piece of content created by the user is an NFT. If it is replaced by a game scene, the avatar created by each player, the scene constructed, the props created, and even the worldview are all NFTs, and these NFTs can be used. Transactions are conducted across games through smart contracts, which fundamentally builds the economic model of the metaverse. Finally, the metaverse must be a multi-party participation. It cannot be completed by a company or group. Especially, it has extreme requirements for the improvement of network speed and the improvement of hardware device performance. It also needs the continuous efforts of more developers, hardware manufacturers, broadband operators, etc. At the moment when VR, AR, MR, and 5G technologies are not yet mature, the metaverse can only belong to the conceptual layer at present. It can be said that the metaverse has endowed our future digital life with infinite value and imagination space. Various interactions between the virtual and real worlds will be fully opened up, which is the ultimate form of the internet in the true sense. In essence, it is not only a return to the original intention of the internet, but also a yearning for the next generation internet. It can be imagined that on the day when the metaverse really arrives, we will be able to immersively experience another world with a new identity, which will not only bring a more extreme experience to personal entertainment and social interaction, but also make personal efficiency. Social efficiency will be improved, and more importantly, it will give individuals more channels for wealth creation.